Hey, it's Johnny Walker here today, TGIF. Hope you guys all have a good weekend. We got snow here. We're supposed to get more snow tomorrow. Last weekend I was racing go karts, if you can believe it. I was in a t shirt. Now we're back in the cold front again. I'm getting a lot of emails, a lot of questions about 500 eyes, about restarting, how they run running like crap uh, uh, once in a while. I haven't had a lot of issues with, with 500 eyes. We've sold 168 of them since they came out. That's quite a few. We might have been the biggest dealer selling them uh, in Canada for sure, I would say, but maybe not North America. So some of the problems they have is their side covers are pretty bad, weak, bad, bad dust flap on the back. So Gordia at West Coast Saws has a nice cover to put on it. The Better Dogs from Pro Safety or West Coast Saws, the Bark Box, the better bar plate we put on them, the heavier spring in the front, which is like off a 661, or you can get the suspension kit off Gordy. This is a muffler done the old school way. Some of my customers prefer this. I put a nice outlet on this side, TIG welded on, and I put a larger outlet on that side, TIG welded on. And we also have the Max Flow air filters, which I don't have one on one of these to show you right now, but I just modified saw for the guy the other day with the muffler the old style, the Max Flow air filter and ported, he loved it. He said probably 20% better than his, his previous one with just, uh, just the bark box on it, which is a good about 0 0.6, 0 0.7 horsepower gain if a guy just wants to buy them. It's easy just to buy those and put them on, but some of my guys prefer the older way. So let's get to the root of the problem with these things. So when you're running it and all of a sudden it just won't rev up and it's running like crap, it's called a limp mode, okay? So I've suggested, I just had a guy call yesterday that was having that problem I told him go take the saw start it up and when you start these don't touch your throttle okay don't touch the throttle on it just start it up and let it idle so I told him to start it up let it idle for 15 minutes shut it off and go try it again so he did and the thing worked perfect I've had a probably 10 different people have this situation uh, so I've told them to do that in the mornings when before you use it or if you're going to a different falling setting or a different area where it's uh, higher elevation or lower elevation, start it up and just let it idle. The computer's gonna find itself to that environment and your gas that's in it, all the different things. So let them idle when you get there, 15 minutes, shut them off. After you're done big cuts with them, let them idle a bit too to cool down. It'll find itself back to the idle mode instead of the being in the uh, full throttle positioning that it's sensing because you just did a huge cut with it. So let it idle after you've done the full throttle mode, like a heavy buck or a heavy cut. And the same thing, it'll find itself and it'll work perfect again for you. So that's that's the main problem. So any 500i owners out there, that's what you want to do with them. Keep your saw on the wood, stick in the ice, rubber in the road. Have a great weekend. See you later.